Okay, we have our Taylor integral. We've got the integral of one over x cubed plus x to the fourth dx. To get started with this, what we want to do in the denominator here, I'm going to want to factor out either x cubed or x to the fourth. I think you could probably do it either way, but my preference, I think what I want to do is factor out the x to the fourth. So when we do that, we're going to have x to the fourth times, I can write it as one over x or x to the minus one plus one. We'll take the x to the fourth into the numerator. So with the rewrite, we're going to have x to the minus 4 dx over this stuff, x to the minus 1 plus 1. So next we'll do the u substitution. I'll set my u equal to just x minus 1. Take a derivative on this. Using power rule, we get minus x minus 2 dx. Now what I'd like to happen is I want the numerator to have the du, but it's not quite right because we've got x to the minus 4. Here's x to the minus 2. So what I'll do is I'll rewrite it and set it up like this. So I'll kind of just create this, and then I need to make it work. I don't want to change it because we've got x to the minus fourth there. So what I can do is if I just create another minus x minus two, notice if you multiply this out, this is gonna get back to x to the minus four. So then copy down the denominator, and I think we're set to do our u substitution. So first, looking at this, notice if we have for u squared, that's going to be x to the minus 2 here. So this first part I can write as minus u squared. All this other stuff is du. And then the denominator just becomes u plus 1. Okay, now what we have here is not too bad, but we have the higher degree in the numerator. So what I want to do is I want to set it up so we can get some cancellation or we can do some algebra with this. So if I just, let's just add a 1 right there because then this is going to be factorable, difference of two squares. I don't want to change it, so let's also subtract off one. So then we've just basically added zero. And then what we'll do is we'll split this up into two integrals where the second one will have this minus one. So for this first one, we'll factor the one minus u squared. I can factor that as one plus u, one minus u. That's going to be over this. And for the second one, for this minus one, we'll just have the minus sign up front. This is going to become du over u plus one. Now back to the first one here, we can cancel this u plus 1 and u plus 1. So now we're just integrating 1 minus u. So we'll go ahead and integrate this first. Integral of 1 is going to be u. Integral here, minus u squared over 2. And then for this, it's just going to be minus natural log of u plus 1. And from here, all we need to do is just back substitute in order to finish this thing off. So first, plugging in for u here, this is going to be, I'm going to write the x minus 1 as 1 over x. And then doing it again here, our u squared is this x minus 2. I'm going to write this as 1 over 2x squared. And then for this last part, plugging in for u, this is going to be 1 over x plus 1. But before we finish it, one thing I can do to clean this up, let's rearrange this and get a common denominator. So for 1, I can write this as x over x. Put this together, we end up with x plus 1 over x. Now this whole thing, it's inside, we've got the minus in front, we got it inside the natural log, like this. But then with log properties, I can split this up, so I can write it as minus natural log x plus 1. And then for the second part, we have minus ln x, but then we have the minus in front, so minus times minus is plus natural log of x. And so we can take this and put this back in here for our final solution of this. We're just going to have 1 over x minus 1 over 2x squared. Plus, I'm going to change the order just because plus natural log absolute value x minus natural log absolute value x plus 1. Add a plus c, and that's it. Okay, there you have it. Integral of 1 over x cubed plus x to the fourth. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.